these bottles. <laughs> The man who boldly went where no one has gone before, Mr. Jordan Frakes. I boldly went into the bathtub of Comfort Troy. <laughs> and you loved it? Every minute of it. That was the director's privilege. Dwarf the Klingon says to me, let me understand this. You take a bath with Marina and I get a huge pimple on my nose. <laughs> He got Jatsia. He, he got Jatsia. <laughs> uh, you could hear uh, uh, first question perhaps. Um, when you were a fan, where were you a uh, fan of Star Trek? With a, who wore a wig. <laughs> there was a guy with pointy ears, that's all I knew. And then all of a sudden my life changed. Life, in all seriousness. I actually was able to buy a house. <laughs> Did it change for the good? It changed for the, for the good. Actually, all levity aside, I'm very proud of uh, being part of it. Sorry, it's something that I, my kids can see and, and uh, I can always identify with some of those. Uh, isn't it a little bit difficult to have to find a new story, some, something that looks new every time? This is a mind. It is. It's difficult. And where do go? Would you sign for that one? Um, I'm with Star Trek as long as they will have me. So, what would you want to do for a little silence? Three nights, the sun sneaks up in the morning, and Matt Leonetti, the uh, director of photography, used to lean over and say, Jonathan, I can only pretend it's for only by helicopter and mule. <laughs> Most of us chose helicopter. Why did you stay there? As you wear the film means no bar, no mustache. What's did, so who, long? Who did rec they did not recognize me without my beard. I came home and they, they thought the daddy was some, someone. Make your own bread, smoke a lot of pot. That's what I heard. And nobody wears rubber on their face. But. That has been uh, the rumor that uh, the next one, Star Trek 10, will be a direct sequel to Star Trek? I've done, obviously, a lot of television, and I did some theater when I went to school. And this movie...